Good morning everyone. I would like to look at a trash chute today. It's an item that was requested on a tower block that we are conceptualizing for a client at the moment. And it was an interesting question because uh, it's a typical sort of item that you would find in the core of a building. And immediately I thought to myself, okay, now how do we model this do we model it in place uh, how do we go about this but then um, i had a look at bimobject.com it's always a very good resource to use if you don't know about bimobject.com visit the website and um, create a, a login it's free and then you can also download some content and you can see here is a trash shoot and I decided, all right, let's download this file and have a look at that. You can see that they've got Revit file for download. <coughs> so learn from others. And the resulting file is a Revit project file in which there are uh, pipe systems. So these are actually drawn as pipes. If you're an architect and you're not familiar with piping, it is something that I would recommend you at least learn the most rudimentary basics of it's not only difficult or complicated um, or otherwise just get an MEP modeler to do this for you and here you can see the different sizes um, over here you can see that that is a family of pipe fitting and uh, it's a 24 inch so if you're working in a metric file nothing stops you from importing an imperial uh, family and you can then use that family in your project instead and it goes all the way up to 36. So this is uh, obviously manufactured. Uh, it's from a manufacturer's website and you can see some other interesting families here as well. Here is a bracket for securing it or for supporting it on the floors, on the successive floors and um, at the top you can see a termination that they would typically use and at the bottom there's the exit. Now, in a core, you might be lucky if it's in the middle of a building that you can um, drop the trash into a receptacle. Uh, in the case of a tower, it's not that simple because of the foundation. You might have to taper this out a little bit. And um, just for the guys that already know about pipes, you'll find that in your pipe types, within your families, where you find your pipes, on your pipe types, they've now created a trash pipe type. And having a look at the pipe properties on the routing preferences, we can see that there's no elbow that was scheduled. Right, so we all just have to schedule our own elbow within our project. Alright, so now that you've got this file, you've got the families, <coughs> how do you get them across into your own project? Um, well, I would suggest that you open both projects. There's my project here's the other file in the same instance of Revit you can then um, go to manage and transfer project standards under the project standards go down to your piping and there you will find that you can import um, the system types there's the pipe segments that's what the pipes are made of the pipe settings in this case we can use those pipe sizes, pipe types and piping system types right and that should cover most things and then we go OK that now brings the pipe types across not the families yet but at least the pipes and the next um, effort over here will be to bring the families across into our project. So we'll just wait for this to um, conclude. Alright, so what's happened now is that the pipe types were transferred into our project. Here we can see our pipe types. And uh, if we know which size we want, like a 36, and we don't even need the other types, then we can just copy and paste from this project into the other project. That's one option. Or we can open up this family for editing and write it out into you know, go file save as and then save it out as a family of our own or we can just load this into our project 
which is the new project that I'm creating. So I'm loading that into the project and closing that. No, I don't want to save any changes. And that will then automatically create this family in the um, new project that I have got. And let's see what that looks like when I place it. You'll see that it uh, we are on the zero level. And if we place that element and have a look at that in 3D, then we can see that it's actually the wrong orientation. All right, so what we want to do is we want to be in a uh, section. So let's quickly create a, a grid that we have a plane to work on. That's grid one. And just create a section on that plane. Open up the section, and we are going to set the working plane to grid one. All right, so now that we've got our work plane set, now we can bring the size in. There's the 36 inch that I need or that I want and I can place that on the screen. Now you can see it's facing upwards. Um, it does have these controls where you can flip the component, the other one. However, that does not give us the orientation that we need, so we can use the rotate command and we can rotate this component uh, through 90 and we can also mirror this component and there we have the orientation that we want so somebody would come in put the trash in from the left and it will slide down maybe we just want to lift that up above the ground so that we can have a, um, a limited penetration through the floor Maybe a 500 or 600 offset off the floor. There we have it. And we can move that into place. And because we've transferred the, the pipe settings, we have access to the trash pipe type. So looking at the connectors, we see that we need a 914.4 millimeter uh, pipe, which is of course within the settings. So we zoom into that connector, right click and draw pipe. What we have to do is make sure that we're using the trash type and the right diameter. And what's usually required is draw a, a, a relatively long uh, pipe all the way down in the direction that you need that to go. So there's trash, 914, we go down quite a long way and we draw that pipe. So the reason you only see a line is because we're in a coarse detail view. Go into fine, shaded, and there you can see very clearly what that pipe is going to look like. So you can already see that uh, based on this manufacturer, this wall might be a bit large unless you are prepared to uh, do something else over there so you might just need a thinner wall um, on on that side and then you can see everything will fit in nicely right, so it's it's also a good indication that we might need a different wall there and um, just position that correctly because it comes from a manufacturer you can get a good sense of how to design this uh, and then we've also got the other families that we can bring in we can copy and paste them in Once we've pasted in one of these families, 
we can start using them within our project. Go back to our section. There's the 28 inch, we need the 30 inch, 36 inch, that's it. Might be better than just to bring the family in. If the one that you are copying isn't the one that you need, edit the family, remember, and transfer into the project and close. You don't need to save the changes, you've made no changes. It will just come and exist within the item over there. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Seems to be a inconsistency in the naming. And in fact that 28 inch uh, or 36 inch did not generate correctly at all. So in situations like that what you can do is just grab everything from the uh, project that you want to copy from. Let's copy this to clipboard, go back into our uh, view that we are working in and let's paste that in. Paste from clipboard and I'm just going to paste it in here on that line. Let's go have a look. There it is in section and we can move this down. Okay, so if your levels are on different uh, Similar. and rotate about place and we go through minus 90 we move this into position use the align tool and then we just need to connect them up Once you see that little sign over there, that's the connector. The pipes are connected and if you now press tab, you can see they are connected. And we can take that all the way up as well. Draw pipe, trash, it's the right size, we can draw it in up onto the next level. And so you would complete that trash suite or, or shoot. And that will then ultimately result in your um, required model. So have a look at BIMobject.com, uh, it's a good source for uh, models that you can use and it might also give you some ideas about what sort of families you might use to generate the um, elements that you require. If we wanted to deviate from the vertical Suppose we're going to come down at some angle. You can see it doesn't want to create an angle. And when you're in a situation like that, it means that in the type uh, properties for the pipe itself, you will just have to go and load and set some other elbow from the pipe fittings within the library. Set it in the routing preferences onto the elbow. I'm going to go with the um, generic standard. I don't have the steel uh, family available right now. Uh, and there we can draw pipe. And you can then deviate off the off the norm, and it will give you that angle. So if you know what angles are available, you will then be able to veer away from the um, from the core, so you can drop the uh, trash at some other location. Alright, until next time guys, enjoy your